it's waking me up before it goes goes <laughs> i got it took me a little bit <laughs> i feel like it was pretty fast honestly like Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody. It's probably April 23rd. I'm probably Ryan Miller, and he's probably still in Colorado. It's Matt Amber. I, I am, and I really just, based on our our moments ago interaction, I really thought you were going to say something like George Mackle. <laughs> What's a George Mackle? George Matkle, you know, because like, wake me up before you go. Never mind. Oh, yeah, this is going to be better. See, now I have to include what just happened in the edit somehow <laughs> yes that's how this works somehow i have to include this in the show <laughs> being the show yeah i thought you were talking about like family life too you were like no, well I'd... so i guess i have to include another child <laughs> <laughs> i guess that's... i have to include another brother strikingly that's how the child conversation has gone each and every time me and my wife have had it <laughs> I've got to do another one. <laughs> it's very John Lovitz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which oh you know, no, you explain a lot. Yeah, uh, I've got to have another child. <laughs> it's fantastic. I cannot wait. Uh, on zero hit points, where we talk about video games. <laughs> <laughs> As you can John tell. Lovitz. <laughs> we are a heavy. Is there a John Lovitz video game? We are a heavy John Lovitz fan base. Uh, uh, love it's loving, I think is what they're... <laughs> love and love it's. Yeah, love and love it's today oh, on Zero Hit Points. A spoonful of love it's. <laughs> uh, the There's a lot of John Lovitz shows we could the, do. The love it's Titles spoonful. to the show we do. Sure. Uh, There's one true only John Lovitz show we could do, but we could name it many things. I, I can't even... It's got to be SNL. We, it's we, <laughs> we already exhausted the bit, didn't we? Right yeah, at that very second. It was gone. I've lost it. You, <laughs> like, you know what? All right. Well, John Lovitz has come and gone. This, <laughs> this, uh, uh, this podcast is over. And uh -huh. As for, by the way, in terms of video games, I don't think there was one, but considering they were able to make nonsense out of Simpsons games, why wasn't there a critic game hmm. where they went through like like re like their version, their set satiric version well, of uh, of the movies? There was barely a critic TV show. Well, I would imagine that's the same reason there wasn't a critic. No, I I like it. In fact, I've watched it embarrassingly recently. It could have almost come up on on TV volleyball. Spoiler alert, which will also come up. But you've already convinced me here to open IMDb for some reason concerning John Lovitz. And now I can't remember what John Lovitz video game. Yeah, John Lovitz Simpsons. Baby voice stencils. Did you say stencils? Stencils? No, I did not. In fact, but well, that's okay. Now I want one. Just I want to do a, a stencil of John Lovitz in my bedroom, like in, or my stencil? office, or in my bedroom. Why not? Just like a well, good, you know, like love a, and love it, love and love it. We're back. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> How to get your love? It's in the bedroom. That's the, <laughs> it's a magazine now, and that's the one of the little blurbs on the front. I also just want to point out that that while the critic should have had a video game also fish police remember that one no with john love or not john john ritter cartoon oh. animated cartoon that was on for like eight episodes i think no the, oh yeah there were like I have zero remembrance of there this. were like three or four animated shows that on the video game show we should talk about snorks uh, there's one and i can't remember the name of family dog do you remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah. I liked Family Dog. I actually Love thought Family that was Dog. a cool show. The dog. In fact, thing. I want to say that was born on Amazing Stories, wasn't it? I think Before it might. It I think you're right. Spun off into its own show that got immediately canceled. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, Tim Burton was in there somewhere. And, uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Family yeah. Dog, man. And also Fish Police. But that still nothing. With John Ritter. I mean, sold. Right. I don't yeah. even know if it's available on anything ever. I think they probably you know burned the video of that. We've got such a backlog that we should definitely do this. We need to do a John Ritter show for Thursday. Oh, man. Point, that's Buckler. a good one. John Ritter. I don't think we've done a single John Ritter movie. I, I, could, he's I could literally brilliant. talk about Three's Company and Problem Child. And there's this other movie he was in with Belushi. Not the good one. The brother. Uh, <laughs> the, the living one. 
<clears throat> called uh, um, it's a loaded statement. Real men and <laughs> Belushi is this like undercover CIA agent or something, and they for some reason make John Ritter the bumbling husband who who like is is drawn into something. And all I remember <laughs> That's is a perfect description. No, and all <laughs> I remember is at one point in this movie, Belushi makes a gun that shoots like paper clips. And okay. he like and he like takes out multiple guys with it, I think. You've, I've not been surprised by a single statement so far. Belushi and Ritter. I mean, what <laughs> the only thing that could make it better is if there was a dog in it. Was he in Stay Tuned or do Stay I Stay Tuned also the that? best movie of his career. Okay. I thought so. I can never get enough of Stay Tuned. I absolutely to this day any single time I see satin anywhere, like the fabric I oh, is that what that's from? I immediately think of that part okay. where it's Dwayne's Underworld and he's like, say what these pictures are. I worship satin? <laughs> Excrement. Okay. Never seen the movie. Oh! It, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Dwayne's uh, did, Underworld. Did we just find the one? Dwayne's Underworld. It's great. Wayne's Underworld? Dwayne's. Because they oh. can't, they can't. Yeah, I, I, that seemed a little on the nose when you said no, that. This, yeah, but the movie is so funny. I yeah, we definitely have to watch that one because okay. right. there are so many weird TV shows that they. If see. you've got a John Ritter it. movie you want to pitch at us, that that's it? podcast at zero hit points dot com. No podcast this at, show podcast or book, podcast yeah, at, yeah, yeah book club for movies dot com. Also, it's, it's it all goes to the same place. Spoiler. Okay, alert. that's not <laughs> inside baseball, man. Oh, uh, you're telling them how the sausage is made. Your emails to inside baseball at podcastpoints.org. All right, what is this show about? What are we doing? Let's no, move I already on. did. Hey, number one, I already said what it's about, and we ignored that. Okay. Number two, Sounds good. I think we got the time this week. I don't know. I, you <laughs> it know is what? The, Just because we have no? the time doesn't mean we should take advantage <laughs> of it <laughs> or waste it. Okay. I, yeah. So let's no. not talk about anything that is not video games that you have played right now. I do technically have a bunch of video games. I have one. Yeah, I was going to say it might be quicker to exhaust your list first. Okay. Uh, I played your stupid Konami <laughs> Pixel Puzzle collection and nearly <laughs> threw my phone out <laughs> a window uh, of a moving car while I was driving because that's how much I hate it. No, I hate it. Okay, it's, yeah, it's known that, that that led to you were playing this while driving, which, okay. I was, let's, because let's I figured dark. this game is so awful, if I get into a car wreck, my life will be better. <laughs> Here's what I found about this you game. You got darker than I was going to get. I was just going to ask, have you ever played a game on your phone while driving? Well, again, <laughs> every day I'm like, I don't like myself. <laughs> he died doing what he loves. <laughs> hating himself and playing a game he hates <laughs> so great trying to commit suicide right uh no i it, it, so it, you mentioned it like last week or the week before it's a pie cross game pick cross whatever it sucks i hate it i don't like pick we'll cross go, so we'll go, go to back hell and forth It'll... there's no back and forth i have no, no. i we'll tried. go back and forth calling it pie cross and oh pick cross. yes yes yeah. i never want i i played it for i tried it for about two hours i think is what i gave it and I hate everything about it. I deleted it already, and I'm never really? listening to any suggestions you make about anything ever again. Wow. I can't believe I finally got through, and this is the one. I hate it. Ru- <laughs> I hate it what, so much. What did you... I, yeah, I need to know now. What did you hate about it? Because the reasoning I, was that you, you were a Sudoku guy, at the oh, very least, I, which I can't get into. See, for whatever reason, Sudoku here, like... I don't know. It makes more sense to me, which is weird because as a like mathematics and stuff, I just right. am awful with. I hate it. Which but is man, why I yeah, no, I can't do it. There is something Picross I don't like about it. I have I just hate it. Maybe it's the artwork, maybe it's having to make a picture instead of just trying to fit that's what it is. It's I don't have to fill out the whole box that's one little box like like in the I have to do it and it's like a X's okay. and I hate it. I don't like it. So when you play Sudoku, I'm starting to realize I think maybe you're more concerned about filling in the boxes than doing the puzzle correctly. Like, do you just get a, a Sudoku puzzle and write random numbers all throughout it until it's full and you're like, I did it. That's a, Yes, that's exactly okay, how it works. Right. There's no <laughs> rhyme or reason to it. Sudoku is, is uh, it actually translates to uh, pointless number drawing. So <laughs> in parentheses, this is not a game. It's a very like, it's a very descriptive word when translated. 
Sure. There's not much lost in translation. ZeroHitPoints.com. <laughs> okay. I can live with that. I, I've actually been playing more of that too, but I just fall deeper and deeper in love with it. <laughs> well, and this is why we can't be married. <laughs> But as a as as a pie cross game, I should say, or pick cross. But when we talked about it last, I feel like I was on the way of saying that it's actually a really competent one of those games. Period. Apart from it being a really fun nostalgia thing, like did you at least enjoy the interface and the music and the? No, nothing. No. Okay. Every, well, like I said, it takes some pretty deep Konami cuts. So. I don't mind that it's that. I just hate it. I think that because I hate everything about it is I, why I don't like it. <laughs> oh, that kind of colored your opinion, you might maybe, say. Maybe, maybe, okay. yeah. I was right. like, oh, I hate this. Do I like it, though? <laughs> mm, kind of. You know, mm. I'm back and forth. Well, you know what? The Lady of Justice, the the, the, the weights of justice yep, go back and forth. got the blindfold on. Mm. I do, yeah. There's just no chance for you in Picross then because that's that's actually a really streamlined one too because on a lot of them you have to put in all the X's to kind of like if you know it's in like Minesweeper in a way which I think you might have made this comparison if I you did. know where something isn't you can also exit out which helps you complete the puzzle by process of elimination yes. I hate this that. does that for you at the very least if you can fill out where the spaces are it'll put all the rest of the X's in for you which is actually really nice but it puts them not necessarily in the right spot Okay, well, so you have to complete the row. You have to be correct in where you're putting yes, things. Yes, Because it's not true. just the row. You have to do the row and the column because if the column is wrong. Yes, yes. So you're making it sound way easier. Like, oh, hey, you do have why to do can't the idiot, correctly. Yes, why can't sorry, idiot I, Matt do a puzzle that's not a puzzle where you just click a button? <laughs> like, I do. It's called WWE Supercard, and there's a reason <laughs> I don't talk about it because that's what the game is. You know, okay. So actually, we evened out over the weekend, if you think about it. Which, by the way, we are back in our respective places. I'm I'm looking at you through a computer again. Okay. But you showed me Supercard, and I bounced off that. So you can have your Supercard. I can have my Pie pi, pi, Cross. Pie Pick Cross. And we can pi, cross. go on our merry ways. Cool. I'll be merry. <laughs> I'll be merry. You could be Pippin. Pippin. Yeah, I saw it coming. Uh, that's really the only game you don't want to shout out anything else. I have been very, very busy this week and okay. have not really played any games. I did, uh, get the computer booted up and still kind of making it work. I right. actually, I actually did. Uh, I played like an hour and 45 minutes of Bioshock infinite because oh, I really <laughs> never finished it. And I really enjoyed it. I just, again, it came out and something sidetracked me. I think that's actually Loadout came out and I got super sucked into that. Huh. How did that one become the one? Like, you, I feel like you played that because you were testing something out. And that's that exactly was... what it was. Okay, I was. Right. I, I wanted to try something that wasn't going to, if if I was having hardware issues, that wasn't just going to make things smoke and blow up. So I figured, okay, that's a few years old. It shouldn't destroy my video card or anything. So, um, and for whatever reason... I think I clicked it to install it on accident. I don't remember wanting to install it, but I went, oh, okay, it's there. I'll play it. <laughs> so I did that. And Did uh, you start where you left off or did you start? No, I started game? over again because I did not remember anything about the game. So the, the critical turn on that game has been crazy over the years, which we definitely don't need, don't need to get into, but I don't know if you've... No. Every time I hear about that now, it's in a way that's like, Praise was heaped upon it, which I don't think is 100% true because nothing is. So I probably shouldn't even say that. Okay. But I mean, it was a Bioshock game. So it was a huge thing no matter what. Right. And I think it delivered on that promise. But just kind of how I think criticism has turned on it over the years in the way it portrays a lot of its... Because Bioshock, let's just put it this way. I feel like the first Bioshock has aged a little bit better, maybe. I, I think... <laughs> I think the first Bioshock works a little bit better because you weren't really expecting that. And then the, the fact that it had such a deep story to it and it had really, really interesting characters, you're, you're trying to build off that. And it's, I mean, uh, clearly there've been enough sequels in games True. where you're like, yeah, this game is great. This is an awesome sequel. They did. They, 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 they improved on it. They iterated the right way. I think that infinite did not iterate enough i i think that it basically took this i mean it did it took the exact same idea 
transplanted it from the water to the sky. So you went from you you took the exact polar opposite, right? And consciously though, like made that part of the premise and the narrative, right? Even. <clears throat> right. And so. I, but I think that that might be, you know, and they did try to they they did a good job, I think, trying to make the game a little more socially conscious and and like a little more politically pointed. I guess. Sure, but, which is weird because I feel like that's where the criticism has turned more than in any other department. Just Probably. with its portrayal. I, I will know, say, like I said, we don't need to. Yeah, the but, last thing I'll say about it though is I I totally remember. I feel like it was it was the PAX after it came out, and I don't remember if that was a year. I don't remember if it was like six months. I feel like it was about six months, but I could be way came out the game or the announcement. The game came out, okay, and then right. and then there was the. There was PAX and we were at PAX and I remember I had sent uh, Adam Sessler uh, like one or two tweets about Bioshock and, and I, I don't remember. I said, I, oh, I said something about Bioshock and then I, I said, I've got to ask, uh, I've got to, what is it? Uh, address the Cess. Address the Cess, I believe. Is and uh, and when I walked up to him, I said, I need to address the Cess. And he went, you're the guy on Twitter. And I asked him exactly <laughs> the question do you still feel the same way about Bioshock Infinite that you did when you put out that video? And if, I don't know if you remember that I video don't. that he put out was a just praise upon praise about every aspect of the game. I mean, there's a lot to praise, to, and I don't think I've done the turn that a lot of critics has. And when I when I say criticism, like I'm talking criticism, I'm talking the thing about games that makes a lot of other people angry. You know, like they don't want to hear that side of stuff, or sure. or you know, get into that. They want to know if they should buy the game or not, or you know, it's whatever. It's a Bioshock game, or I had fun playing. It. There's a lot to praise. Don't get me wrong. And yeah. I, I feel like that's still like Ken Levine and his crew at the top of their game i mean but the first bioshock was good because it was the first one of those and we realized that they can do this crazy good stuff i feel like it's only been more polished for infinite even if it missteps and some like the narrative definitely isn't as cohesive like the the whole objectivism stuff from the first bioshock i think is unapproachable like i still love that stuff yeah absolutely but, absolutely yeah. i also think that that it, uh uh there is I, th I think one of the things that just makes them so different and also kind of works against infinite for me is the it, it actually is the location and it's the location only in the sense that and i guess this is every sense the um the setting like that vi the visual dynamic of the two i think the underwater aspect of of bioshock is more interesting than yeah. the above yeah. ground floating thing and i think that's something that actually kind of bothered me throughout is that they're just these magical floating city it's a magical floating city like yeah it's got some reasoning <laughs> uh, behind it but it's basically well, balloons yeah balloons i said okay <laughs> just want to make sure it's magical balloons, at least. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just feel like, you know, under the water is a little bit more plausible as in terms of we could build something here and live in than, yeah, hey, everybody's going to go up to a floating palace of balloons. That's smart with heavy cement and houses and stuff. Like, dude, it, it's better down where it's wetter. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> zero hit points dot com. <laughs> That was a little mermaid reference for the record. Sure it was. Okay. <laughs> um, Let's talk about Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. No. Okay. Because I want to... We are back in our respective places. It, it wasn't that instantaneous as it might sound. I just wanted to share a couple other things from that trip because on the way oh. back from oh. Colorado, I visited some family in Utah. And when I say family, I mean it in the newest sense of the word because... And I think I mentioned this quickly, but... My mom gave two kids up for adoption that none of us knew about until very, very recently. And they found us. And I have a new brother and a new sister. <laughs> and they've been hunting us. Well, I mean... I am the most dangerous <laughs> game. <laughs> like stockings more, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I thought one of those stops was at my new sister's house. And she's older. Like both these kids are older. And I've always been the oldest in my family. So it's been a new kind of experience for me to have older siblings. And I had what I consider to be the quintessential older sister experience where, and you're going to love this because we just recently even talked about this game. I stayed at her house one night and she knows I like games or whatever. And I actually had some of the games that I was bringing back from your house. In fact, uh, my, uh, what would he, I guess my nephew now has 
your copy of Injustice. So I won't be selling that for a while, but I'll, I'll compensate you in some <laughs> well, way. <laughs> yes, that's important. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she also at some point found out that Tetris is, is my game, right? That's the one somehow. I can't remember. We got to talking. I don't know. But she's like, hey, I got it downstairs. Like, I love playing Dr. Mario. And I'm like, oh, Dr. Mario, I just played that and thoroughly schooled my friend. Let's <laughs> play some of that. So we go downstairs. She boots it. She, she pulls out this perfect looking Super Nintendo. And I'm like, oh, cool. Did you find that at like a retro store? She's like, no, that was a wedding present. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. Would somebody give you like a joke wedding present? It's not clicking, right? She's my older sister. She got married when the Super Nintendo was out. And somebody <laughs> got her a Super Nintendo. I'm like, oh, man, okay. <laughs> I get it. So she pulls this out, boots it up. It's the Dr. Mario Tetris cart from for because they those both came out on the NES, right? So sure. it's the re-release on the Super Nintendo. Boots it up, cranks the Dr. Mario level all the way to the end, like whatever it is, 20, <laughs> and doesn't lower the speed. Like I'm the guy that lowers the speed, puts it at level one, and I just play my way up, right? In fact, I think that's how we did what we played, right? <laughs> She cranks it all the way up, so the screen's just freaking full of germs, and the pills are falling super fast. She burned me for, like, however long, uh, until I couldn't stand it, like, 15, 20 minutes straight. Just, I didn't, uh, no, that's not true. I think I did win a single round, and she probably let me win, but just completely got schooled by my older sister. I love that. Yeah. That's, was, that's, that's great. That makes me feel better. So, so I said, well, let's boot up the Tetris side of the game. Ha ha, you know, make myself, make me feel better about myself before sure. I go to bed because it's already 10 o'clock anyways. Didn't win a single game. <laughs> School me at Tetris. <laughs> I got nothing. Remember so when fun. you were good at video <laughs> games, Ryan? <laughs> it's over. Uh, but that wasn't the worst loss of the past week. Uh, when I did get home, we booted up Mario Party because I hadn't played it in a bit. And as we've spoken about, Mario Party has its fair share of just RNG craziness. That's the thing about that game. Like, you play it, but your skill doesn't matter at all. And that, that's probably by design, partially. And I really, either way, like Super Mario Party on the Switch is the one we're playing. I think it's a great version of it. Like, I would still recommend it. But we finally decided to do a 20-turn game mm -hmm. because five turns takes... 30 minutes, I think. So 20 turns, you're looking at, you know, two hours. So we don't usually play those. And we have started two in the past, but the actually one of the bad things I will say about this Mario Party is that you can't save progress in the middle of a, of a game, which you could do on the other ones. So we, All two right. times, I was like, okay, we'll just come back to this. And it never saved. So sat down, decided to do it all. And uh, I did end up winning, but my wife... It ended up with zero stars, which she's that's never happened to her in <laughs> any of the games. Zero stars Ouch. after 20 turns. Yeah, it was fantastic. So <laughs> and she got the RNG beauty. So when, did you, when do you get a new TV and when do you get a new Switch remote? <laughs> oh, no. She's, I don't think she's ever got mad. That's not true. She has got mad before. <laughs> and she did burn down one of our couches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That, that was the one time I was skipping over. I guess that counts <laughs> the time she did that. The, the one upstairs that she set on fire and then pushed out the window. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. Uh, but I did play a ton of Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. It's a good game. For which for such a generic title, I have a hard time remembering the entire thing, I think is what it is. It's a terrible title. It's a good it's game. It's the one though. we played while I was down there a ton. You literally got me hooked on it. Like you... It, the gameplay is instantly addicting to me anyways like yeah. it's it's a solid thing totally that they've made there so yeah i had to buy it i bought the dlc and it's 15 dollars now instead of 20 at least nice so unless i need you to get, the, get the dlc which i think is three bucks still. i need to get the dlc apparently i thought i had it but it adds some extra bad guys i think or something i'm not entirely sure it adds two more achievements so that was part of the reason. Yeah, but it but adds more uh, heroes to use, right? I believe so. It adds yeah. more characters to use, probably in the multiplayer. Well, which I'm glad I'm playing the campaign because it is, I've found, unlocking those to use in multiplayer. So it's good that I'm doing it this way anyways. But I don't care, actually. The campaign is, is completely compelling. Dude, Not because of the story. Again, just because of the gameplay, really. No, the gameplay is great. And as you go through, I think it, it was, they, they pace it really well so that you're getting the different um units as yeah. you go along it's broken up like the the it's not really an overhead map but it shows you the I think five different areas yeah and you basically start from square one with a new character on each of their those areas so yeah i totally agree the way it's broken up i really like instead of a complete 
like progression beginning to end, like you're doing a mini progression on these each. And then the story's coming together now on the final level where I'm at. So yes. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. It's a good game. I, and I think the multiplayer is, is super fun. I mean, it's, that's one of those like multiplayer totally. games too. I love, I love it because no matter how good you are at that game, you can still get seriously screwed by the RNG on that one. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Many times, even against the computers, but I'm very curious now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more than last time we played, like how our online games are going to go whenever we yeah. throw down again. Yeah, and we will, because I really yeah. like that game. There's so. some nice touches to the campaign, actually. I don't want to completely crap on the story. It's good enough, and I like how it's coming together in the end. Sure. So if you can hang around for the payoff, I think it is worth it. Uh, but the best part about it are all the little touches they do. Like there's there's some side quests that you can go through. There's some bounties that you can do. Once you've completed all the bounties, the bounty giver says, oh, I have one last one, and it's for you. And then you battle the bounty giver, which I thought was <laughs> really cool. Uh, it's just stuff like that. There's lots of little cool that you go through a dragon at one point and there's a little skeleton in the middle. And as you walk back through, you you get a mini story about how it's the guy that killed the dragon, but not before. Oh, the dragon ate him as he was battling him. And then the dragon choked on him and that's how he killed him. So they have like a fun back and it's in the ghost world. So they there you can talk to them while they're bones. Well, sure. It's good stuff. Who doesn't <laughs> love a little bone talk? No, who doesn't? Zerohitpoints.com. Uh, and then the last thing that happened is it also your fault, actually, now that I think about it. Yes! Uh, we played Beat Saber while I was down there. We did. And again, that's all it took. So I bought Beat Saber when I came back home. <laughs> and the kids do love it, and it is great. I played it a couple times. In fact, I showed my dad when he was over here. He's, he's got to be like 60 years old at this point. Sure. Uh, and he was just loving it as well. I don't think he loved it as much as the other game I showed him, which is the thing that I think I love more than Beat Saber. Oh, yeah? Even. Once I downloaded Beat Saber, I was just like, why don't I have any of the other games on VR? And I feel like VR is a thing where I haven't had it out for so long that now it's out. I'm like, I got to just keep going on this because yeah. once I put it away, I'm just not going to see it again for right, a bit. Right, right. I got Super Hot VR. Nice. It might be better than the console version. Ooh. It's so good, man. I have really been wanting to play it. It's, I think it's inched its way into my top five. Like that, that franchise, definitely. Sure, sure. Just of all time, just super hot. But, but as a VR game, like I'm in it all over again. It's so freaking good. It's so good. It's just good. I got to try really it. I got to try you, it. Do it. Like you're not, I mean, if you like the console game at all, this is better than that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing I could say to really explain that. It's just that you're in the VR environment and you are literally, you know, you're turning your head to watch the bullets go by or that feels like it's gotta be a little bit better too, because like with the console, there's a point where you can turn and the bullet will pass you and you can watch it, but it's not always the easiest thing to figure out because of how wide the console is. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing that, that coming directly at your face, turning your head like that, you know, you'll you'll have a, a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, well, and, and moving your head kind of out of the way, right? Because, which is another thing you, I guess, you can sidestep in in the console version. But the the console version, I'm realizing now, is a great adaptation of an idea that is an obvious idea for VR, but ha that has been perfectly executed. Sure. Because this could be a lot worse, and I feel like the idea you'd still be like, this is still pretty cool. Right. But the fact right. that they got that idea freaking nailed it is just it's a, an amazing game yeah i love I, it highly recommended i'll try it i might even just force it onto my end of the year list it'll mm -hmm. definitely come up in the in the talk but all right <laughs> all right um, and then the last one i bought because i have all the demo discs which you can download for free anyways but uh astrobot rescue mission has one that's been popping up a bunch have you heard about this no i don't know anything about it no okay i've heard a lot of people talk about it uh, might be last year actually yeah i think it even showed up on some end of the year lists so it was kind of on my radar but it's also even if it's a very good one you know what it is like it's a lucky's tale it's it's vr mario right it's the 3d platformer sure even if i bet that's awesome it's kind of like i know what that is so i'm kind of it's no super hot let's say <laughs> what is super hot vr it turns out is. oh 
Uh, but Astrobot is the my my daughter has been that's the one she wanted to play on the demo all the time and she's just burned through the demo like in whatever two days I've been letting her play like that's the one and let me tell you okay tell me I hear how, how cool it is to <laughs> just in a Johnny mnemonic kind of way hear the words Daddy can I play VR <laughs> <laughs> fair. Fair. To which I always respond, yes, I'll jack you in. And she doesn't get that. And But I feel cool. Uh, but uh, uh, Astrobot is that. And she, that's the one she's picked up on. She loves. And cool. I've let her play that to death. I myself haven't played a single second of it. But I figured I'd mention well, it. Well, why would you, though? Because <laughs> it's good, I hear. Oh. But well, well, it's not like we play good games around here. No, that it doesn't sound like something we would do. Zeroheadpoints.com. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that's all I got. Those are all the games I have, getting, though. Getting better all the time. Say the Beatles. Ooh, look at you! <laughs> I'm glad you finally got to see. Speaking of which, I don't care what we talk about right now. Okay. Because this would definitely belong on the Thursday show, even. Which all right. you know, it's good that I'm talking about this to you now, then, because this Thursday is going to be our show about us that we recorded when we were in Colorado. And even then, it's not the last one we recorded when we were in there. So we still got like two, three more weeks before you're going to hear like an up-to-date actual like what we're talking about movies thing nowadays. So I'm glad you got to see the trailer for yesterday. I think for whatever movie that I can't remember if it was with us or Shazam, but yeah, yeah, Danny yeah. Boyle one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks super great. I, I really want to check that I out. I don't know why I'm addicted to that trailer in that movie because I feel like I've fallen off Danny Boyle, which... I shouldn't have because he's done. Actually, that's not true. Slumdog. Slumdog. I just it was not it was not for me. You know, it, and, and I like it and I think it's great. But yeah, it, it kind of doesn't. It, and maybe we're biased towards twenty eight days or whatever. But <laughs> I definitely am. But I know he's a competent and great filmmaker. Let's train put it that spotting. Way. I mean, it's kind of a. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I do yeah. that too. Sunshine. But yeah, whatever. For some reason, yesterday is is it's in the Beatles are in my DNA. I know, like that's probably the music I heard most in the womb. Sure. My mom is like knows all their birthdays and and saw them in concert actually a couple times. Whoa. So yeah, I don't know. I'm glad you got to see that trailer and and like it at least a little bit. I am glad we got to see Shazam, and that's all I ever want to right. talk about again. Have you seen it again since? I have not. We're gonna go see it though. Soon. I have. I've <laughs> seen it twice. But you you know. I, I didn't mention this to you yet. Uh, Why would you? Partially because I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> so you know my you know you know my uh, I like Shazam. Okay. Um, <laughs> so so the uh, the Shazam show is out. The secret is out, Matt. You can it, embrace it, it at this right. point. Yeah, the secret is out. Uh, I think it was 1974. And it had to be 1974. So that that first run of the DC Shazam books that are actually called Shazam. Uh, I just am, I'm expecting it to arrive today. Uh, the Shazam number 28, which, okay. oh, big deal. Number 28 seems this like, who cares? Mind? I feel like you've mentioned this. It's the before. second appearance of Black Adam, but the first appearance oh. of Adam in the DC Shazam books. So, it, oh. so it's actually his first appearance f in like, I think it was 20 years or something. What story does that follow? Just r real quick. Obviously, um, Shazam is real quick. It's with his us. introduction. And if I remember, I, I, I feel like it's him fighting Billy because he of uh, the wizard again. It's one of those things, but I don't remember what that arc is. You know what? I'm going to not tempt fate here. And take the fact that your audio, not even completely cut out, but turned into pixelated digital garbage while yeah. you did that whole explanation. I'm going to not ask you to re-explain it. And well, I guess I'll hear it again when I edit the show. But still. you will. It's not okay. terribly exciting. <laughs> the, the answer is I don't know what arc it is. I just remember that he comes back, and I think he's fighting Billy because of the wizard. But well, I don't, now you've spoiled it for me. I, you know, you can look it up. I guess. Cool. That's a good movie. Tune in for none of that talk on Thursday. Actually, yeah, it'll go all back, be about go back us, a week or so. At some point. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can go back in time right. at Book Club for Movies and or ZeroHitPoints.com, which is actually a good segue for what we're going to do for the news section because I feel like this is all old news. But you know what? We're old people. There are a lot of other things we could be, probably more important things we could be talking about in the video game world. 
mm-hmm. when it comes to this stuff. Again, we just blew past the Google Stadia stuff. There's people are getting ready for E3 here. Uh, Microsoft just released a whole bunch of stuff. I feel like in their pre E3 blitz about uh, where they got the disc. Okay, we can mention this the the discless Xbox One S. Have you seen that? No, I don't want to either. Xbox One S all, and I'm not the first person to point this out, but I still love it. All digital edition stands for Xbox One Sad. <laughs> that is, this is this is Microsoft's <laughs> version of, hey, nobody needs a headphone jack. <laughs> well, it, yeah, again, I don't actually want to talk about it because it's weird how the, it's ju- like the form factor doesn't change. It's just without the disk drive and it's only... It's like fifty dollars cheaper. It's it's let's put it this way. It's still two hundred and fifty bucks, I believe. So like whatever. I would have been so stoked on like a tiny thing that was like a hundred bucks, you know? Like sure. that's cool. Sure. But whatever. Give me a Mac Mini, but uh the X Bone Sad. You know, so it's not listed. We, you know, we did we weren't intentionally gonna we weren't intentionally we we had we did not <laughs> we were accidentally on the other hand yes accidentally on the other hand we forgot to mention or i forgot so, you know whatever we we we're a we Nobody's, we forgot to mention uh let's not that, play the blame game that sony had their uh their presser about the ps5 that too that's another thing that we could probably go on Look, and on about all we need to know about is the fact that this thing is being being developed by ray tracing and i think we all know Ray tracing is a smart guy. What the listeners at home don't know is that Matt has again cut out. And I'm wondering it's because if it's because somebody has cut his internet cable all over again. In fact, I didn't even ask how are you talking to me right now? I thought somebody chopped through your internet cable. Did they actually come out and fix that? They did, and then they oh. did. Apparently they fixed it so well, it appears. Although this could be my fault. Who knows? I have no idea what's anybody's fault. It's our fault, Matt. Is it? Zerohitpoints.com. I have no idea if you can. I still don't know if you can hear me, and you're just. I keep, can hear and see you, but you did cut off at the point where you were like, "All you need to know about the PS5 is." Oh yeah, it's got. It's being made by ray tracing. I don't even want to do this anymore. Let's just <laughs> just move on. I told you there are so many things we could talk about. The only thing that I really just interested me that I went for was this thing about uh, Jedi Fallen Order, which I want to say the trailer came out. I don't even know if it was last week. It might have been before, again, I was traveling last week. but You know, we were all traveling somewhere. Okay. We're on this, it, ch- on this, this spaceship Earth. Big blue marble called the sun. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it, it, Jedi Fallen Order is the game that Respawn's doing for EA, right? Yes, for Star it's Wars. It's their Star Wars thing that didn't get canceled. Yes, Star Wars. I watched the trailer. Uh, trailer's good enough. I actually think it looks like the graphics look really, really good. Like that's some really good motion capture and or animation, like whatever they're doing there. It looks good. That looks good. Great. Cool. Uh, what's really interesting to me is when he got up and this is coming out of Star Wars Celebration, which is going on, I think still or did or. No, it was last week. I think it's over okay. Now. It's always Star Wars Celebration. Every day of the year. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. That's right. May the, what are we, April night, 22nd be with you. That's right. Uh, but when he, when Vince Sampella got up to talk about this thing, he, and Vince, I love Vince Sampella because he's so no, no nonsense. Like he doesn't play the whole marketing game to a large extent. And I love it. I love it. I love it. But he's, can be bad. Uh, maybe this is why he can be bad on TV for it. Like you remember, I feel like he's always getting pushed to do it too. So they'll sit him down. They'll bring him a mic. And they'll be like, what can you tell us about Jedi Fallen Order? And be like, oh, that's the game we're working on. Right. No, I, I, I feel like, I feel <laughs> like, it, right? I feel like, uh, uh, um, Ed Boone is similar to that, but he's like, okay, well, I guess I'll do it. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. like, he's like the guy you're going to push me. Okay. <laughs> I like, I like Ed Boone too. Cause I feel like most of the time too, he just doesn't care. Like he isn't going to play that game. Like what I I'm, I'm the guy that made mortal Kombat. He says with his eyes. Right, right, exactly. It's the, it's the, when he goes up on stage, he's like, so you guys want to see more fatalities? Okay. <laughs> there they are. Remember the eighties? Just kidding. So <coughs> Zampella gets up and I think it's Scoville. Max Scoville is trying to walk him through some of the stuff and kind of, kind of, <laughs> and he's trying to tease things Zampella is, but at one point what he does finally get him to say, or that he does say is that it's a single player. It's uh, sorry. It quote, it's a single player story game. That's literally all he says, and the crowd reacts to that. This is there's <laughs> yeah. a YouTube clip of it or something like that when they went live, but uh, the crowd reacts to that, like starts cheering at just that, and Zampella picks up on it immediately, 
and then adds just to that it's a story game uh no multiplayer no microtransactions yeah and the crowd like even louder after that kidding me and that's telling i mean yes if we were in the crowd that would have been us but this is star wars celebration and yes i'm sure the video game guys showed up for this part of the the celebration or whatever yeah but still the fact that that got a cheer immediately is awesome to me in a way you know like well i mean it's it's that we've been hearing for how long that nobody wants single player games because that's the narrative that ea wants to pass on so many other places are no you everybody wants to do co-op everybody wants multiplayer it's everybody wants the game that never ends that charges money all the time right exactly That's what they really want what i really want is doom but with star wars licenses oh man don't even that was you just and mm. I, all i'm talking about here when i even <laughs> say that is just give me an encapsulated story that's got some bite to it that's fun and i'm a happy camper and also if it's just doom i'm gonna be thrilled well it, i think it's probably more titanfall here because one thing i did pull from that trailer is, well, of course the, it is the dude wall runs a little bit in there so yeah if you're gonna give i mean i think i've said this before to myself at night just over and over but <laughs> if they just give me titanfall reskinned even just if they give me call of duty reskinned in star wars i'm, I'm pretty happy. happy with it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i don't i know that's probably not as good of a sell for you but no are you kidding I, me it's look you take those games and while yeah i only play you know call of duty once every generation or so i mean this generation has been a little different you put a star wars label on it and i'm like oh yeah yeah it's a totally different game no, I never played this before in my life. Did you play Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2? I only played the one with no Russian. Oh, okay. That's Modern Warfare 2. Wow. Wait. I would have expected the other way. You haven't played the first Modern Warfare? Mm-mm. No. Oh, that is better I don't remember. Modern I don't, Warfare 2. I don't remember anything about playing it. I don't think so. Huh. Uh, it's, I mean, <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to spoil that game. I would just say play it. It starts out, like it follows the same story. And by the way, the reason I'm asking this is because I thought I was going to find a loophole, loophole wherein you liked Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 and then you kind of fell off, which those were the kind of Infinity Ward years <laughs> and then the, the whatever happened where they quit. how that tactic work out for it you? It didn't work out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Call of Duty 4, man. You got you to gotta Call of Duty 4. You got to. <laughs> I might have played it. So that's one of those games, though, and maybe it was the second one where I may have bought one of them and then Ian had the other one and I borrowed it from him because uh, it was the same household, but I don't remember. You you begin in a v- car, like while the credits are playing. Then the car crashes. Like, like people no, come up it, behind it and there's like a helicopter. It takes you to an execution. There's a nuke that goes off in the middle of the game. I no, don't nothing? remember. Oh, man. None of those games, not one of those games has ever really stuck with me in terms of story. The only but, things I remember <laughs> are No Russian and Kevin Spacey. So <laughs> that's, oh, the trifecta. Uh, there's only two to it. That's, that's, how, that's how good Kevin, Kevin Spacey, Spacey takes up two spots. Isn't, yeah. yeah. But to hear you say that, Call of Duty 4 is the watershed moment. Like Call of Duty, uh, sorry, Modern Warfare 2 trades on a lot of that like it's one in the franchise like they they kind of no russian is part of that but call of duty 4 is where it all happened like that's a watershed moment for first person shooters and i feel like that that you've been enjoying yeah i'm i'm just gonna play it now is what's happening i've talked about it so much i've had modern warfare remastered for so long on my shelf i can't believe it i can't do that right now because if i'm gonna replay anything it's gonna be the arkham games we've already talked about this true we did already talk and i am really itching to play those oh don't that's okay (laughs) this show is bad us talking about games it never results in anything good it does games but hey you know what you know what you know what Speaking of how cool Ed Boon is, <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> is your game? Mortal Kombat 11 comes out today. Oh, no. Wait. It comes out today because tomorrow is today. So you don't have the game yet. Neither do I. But I got the thing that my game is going to be coming in the mail. I have to go pick mine up. And that's all the news I had. I have, that, I have That's the capper. Mortal Kombat 11 is coming. What else matters? And we'll both talk about it next week. We I am. I have to call my GameStop and find out if they're doing a midnight for it. <laughs> oh now you're thinking about the midnight thing well, if they're, I, if if they're, is this my fault if they're doing one i might do it I don't the, know. It, it, it remains the only time i patronize a gamestop nowadays is because i can get it at midnight right i mean the the amazon i'm still getting it day of but but you won't get it till like what? four 
It doesn't even matter because I'm going to freaking Yosemite tomorrow. And You're going to Yosemite? Yeah. So I'm not even going to be able to play. I'm going to have to endure your Mortal Kombat tweets amongst the forested mountain places. My favorite part is that you know I don't really tweet anymore. Uh, so it'll just be a whole bunch of text messages to you that I imagine you'll just start cutting and pasting into tweets to make it look like you've been playing. <laughs> and then I'll be the popular one. Yes! No! <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen apart. I've lost it. Uh, here at Zero Hit Points. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Again, uh, we will be back on Thursday. It will be the Us show, and I'm looking forward because I can't remember really how that went all that well. So, I remember my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I remember us speaking about your thoughts. Am I just becoming you? Is, is this just... Am I losing myself? Uh, you might be. To the matt nato is that what you call yourself That's right isn't that your sure <laughs> hurricane matt they're all natural disasters the, <laughs> you were the fire that killed notre dame i i didn't start the fire oh okay <laughs> the, i'm not saying the it. world's been turning well neither am i Harry Truman, doris day red china johnny <laughs> ray south pacific walter winchell joe dimaggio Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Holy Korea. Crap, you know the lyrics. <laughs> North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Whoa, South Korea is in that song? Jesse Eisenberg, Eichmann, <laughs> Jesse, Stranger in Jesse a Strange Eisenberg. Land. <laughs> He's not in there. Dylan, Berlin, Bay of Pigs Invasion, Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania. Wait, Old I'm just figuring this out. You can just Beatles. say things and historical events to that tune, and it sounds like you know the lyrics to that song. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. Red Wings win the cup. 94 didn't suck. I can see the thrill band. It was coming all around. Yeah, I don't know. You just... You, were you just reading posters off the wall? Were you Kaiser so saying we didn't I, set I the was. Fire I right was then? actually... That's, that's totally what I was doing. I was like, okay, there's my Red Wing poster. There's Snog, but nobody's going to know that. And then it started... I was going to get into Shazam again. So I was like, no, 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 no. I gotta, you I gotta found stop. an even easier answer to doing the lyrics to. I Animated to Goonies fall out posters everywhere. <laughs> Red Wings win the cup. Snog is on my wall. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Here is Covenant. Cuphead is a... I can't... I, are we done?